In this video, I'm going to explain why you are throwing away money by not using email marketing and show you how to get started. If you're a small business, you probably don't have enough time or money to spend on marketing. But without marketing, your brand's growth will slow down and hit a slump. So you need to market smart. Email marketing is smart. You don't need to pay anyone to send an email. It's free, but it's expensive to post a targeted ad on Google, YouTube, or Facebook. And who knows if anyone seeing these targeted ads even care about your brand. But if someone signed up to your email list, you know they care about your brand. So with email marketing, not only do you own the method of communication, but you know exactly who you're sending it to. For every dollar spent on email marketing, you can see a return of investment of up to $44. That's a fact. But as you know, money is only half of the equation. Most of us probably don't have enough time to set up a marketing campaign. Well, I'm gonna try to convince you that you actually probably do have enough time because most of email marketing is completely automated. I'll quickly explain to you what automation is in case you don't already know. It's simply the use of automatic equipment. So at a Tesla factory, machines paint the cars, move the cars, weld the cars, put the doors on the cars, they do everything. Why? Because doing it by hand is expensive and tiring. Automated emails are triggered by a customer and sent off by a computer, all you have to do is design the email once and set it and forget it. Automated emails make 320% more revenue than non-automated emails, so not only do they take less time, but they also make more money. Win-win. If I haven't convinced you to use email marketing yet, I'm gonna show you how easy it is. I'm gonna cover five concepts so you can hit the ground running. Choosing an email marketing app, how to grow your email list, how to start a welcome series, how to write a subject line, and how to write copy for your email. My fingers aren't very flexible, I don't know why. First, you're not gonna send anything through Gmail. You're gonna use an email marketing app, also called an email service provider or ESP for short. There are plenty of email marketing apps out there with various features and various pricing, but the main thing you wanna look out for is whether or not the app is integrated into your e-commerce marketing platform. So the app can take full advantage of your customer's data and send relevant and segmented campaigns. The easiest way to find and an integrated app is through your e-commerce platform's app or plugin directory. If you're just starting out, find an app with a generous free plan that includes what you need to sell online. If your store is built with Shopify, BigCommerce, WooCommerce, PrestaShop, or Neato, may I suggest Smarter Mail. Something you'll need to do straight away is start growing your email list. There's no point designing all these emails if you've got no one to send them to. If you're lucky, you might already have a few people that checked subscribe to email marketing box on checkout, but growing your email list faster is gonna require a little bit more effort. You'll find more luck if you offer something of value. For example, 15% off or $5 off, but it doesn't have to be monetary. It could be a free guide or an ebook that's free as long as it's free. What's important is that it suits your business and will entice potential customers to sign up. Now that we're growing your email list, let's start setting up some effective automations. Let's start at the beginning when a customer first signs up for your email. A welcome series is the very first email or series of emails that a customer will receive from your brand. These emails are opened 86% more often than a newsletter, so it's important to make a good first impression. Here's what you should include in your welcome series. A sincere thank you email for signing up, an introduction to your brand, explain what separates your brands from your competitors, who you are and why did you start your business. You should include an overview of your products or service offerings, offer educational content, tips on how to use your products or content related to your industry. As you can see, there's a lot to cram into your welcome email and that's why it's probably a good idea to split it into a welcome series instead of cramming it all into a single monolithic email that no one will read. Our first email should be a sincere thank you for signing up and then a brief explanation of the type of content they should expect. Our second email should be an introduction to our brand. Go into your brand's values and build your personality. This email should be sent two or three days later so your brand is still fresh in your customer's mind, but you're not being spammy. Our third email can be a product overview, ideally sent maybe three or four days after the second. Our fourth email should be educational content, which is the perfect natural pitch 
for your product. There's a lot of P's in that sentence. The further along we go in our series, the more spaced out these emails should be. So I'm gonna recommend sending this about seven days after that third email. I'm gonna stop for just a second because I know I said this wouldn't be time consuming and this seems like a lot of work, but I just wanna remind you, you have to set this up once and never again and you'll be marketing to customers literally in your sleep until the end of time. I'm gonna take this welcome series to the next level by customizing it to the customer. If by the fourth email, the subscriber still hasn't converted into a paying customer, I'm gonna offer them an overwhelmingly valuable discount, 20% off. But if the subscriber has made a purchase, then I'm gonna send them a different email instead. No use giving away free money to a paying customer. Now that our welcome series is outlined, how exactly are we gonna write all these emails? Well, if you're looking to become a pro, definitely check out Aaron's blog, I'll link it down below. But let's just get started with the most important element of the email, which is the subject line. It is where most of your energy should be spent. Employ the four second rule. Study your subject line and see if it can hook you within four seconds. It shouldn't be more than 50 characters long and don't save the punchline for the end of the subject line because people will miss it. Let's talk about the design of your email. Less is more, less images, less fancy design elements, less pizzazz. One thing that your email should include though is a call to action button. This is something that the customer sees and immediately recognizes, hey, this is what I'm supposed to click on or this is what I'm supposed to do. The other thing that you'll always want to include is some brand indoctrination. Have a few lines about what makes your product or your brand special or tell the story of your business and why you created it. For example, after college, I joined an investment firm and instantly connected with another analyst named Alex Faraday. He loved surfing left on Jersey Shore with his twin Mike, a designer at Ralph Lauren. While I was perhaps the only person on Wall Street commuting with the longboard, we were two characters in a sea of suits. Seven years later, I couldn't be any more thrilled to introduce Alex and Mike's lifelong passion, Faraday brand. Wow, that's why they say facts tell and stories sell. So let's recap. Your call to action should always be clear and appealing. When it comes to email copy, less is more and always, always focus on your subject line. With these tools, you should be able to write any email for any series. So what? are some more automations that you should run. An abandoned cart series reminds customers that they have left your store without checking out their cart. This is a great way to recover lost sales. And if the first email doesn't work, we can send them another email a few days later with a 10% off discount. Birthday automations wish your customer a happy birthday every year on their birthday. These emails have a 481% higher transaction rate, generate 342% more revenue per email, and have 179 higher unique click rates. A rule of thumb for these emails is to always include a small discount. It is their birthday after all. Order triggered automations are the emails customers receive straight after they've made a purchase. Usually these emails just have shipping information, but why not send a follow-up email personally thanking the customer for their purchase. And while we're at it, let's add a bit of copy explaining the marvelous product that they've just bought. And we could also add in some similar products that they might like. And then a few weeks later, when their product has arrived, we can ask them for a review. You might be thinking, wow, that is a lot of emails. Do I even need to still send a newsletter? Don't worry, apps like Smarter Mail have these pre-made right when you install with templates that match your brand and suggested content. And yeah, you should definitely still be sending newsletters. There may be events like Valentine's Day or Black Friday sales where you wanna let your customers know that you're having a sale or maybe you're launching a new product and you wanna let them know about it. For more campaign ideas, feel free to subscribe to this channel. And if you liked the video, click the like button down below. Hope this has given you the confidence to start emailing, please. I'm begging you.